Welcome back to the great and beautiful outdoors, everybody. Thanks for subscribing here to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to the hunting videos here lately. Last time we were at a deer camp, monster success. Took the whole fam out here. Stephanie got her first buck ever. It was awesome, guys. We're still reeling from that. It was a good bond, man. It was a good bond in the great outdoors. Uh, if you guys have families, I highly encourage you to uh, get them around the hunting camp at some point. You know, it's not just for the boys, but this time we're going with the boys. I'm yet to get a white-tailed deer this season, y'all. Uh, I've, I've killed an elk and we got Stephanie on a deer. I'm really trying to look for a buck that I want to go after. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight is trying to look for a buck. I've got some other stands I haven't even explored. There's a lot I haven't looked at out here. Uh, I've seen some great deer already on some of the cameras, but there's a few places I don't have cameras, haven't sat, and we're going to go to one of those places tonight, and one being the pond. Everyone remembers the pond deer from last year. Sadly, the pond deer is gone, everybody. It has left the earth, uh, but there's some other great deer running around, and I've had my eye on a couple, but I want to see what's running around. Do not have the camper with me on this trip. We're going to be truck camping, y'all. I uh, like to just keep it simple when I when I don't have the fam with me, you know, and I don't need the AC and a, and a ton of gear. It's perfect camping weather right now. So I'm gonna sleep in the back of the truck. It's kind of been a trend out here lately just to sleep in the deer blinds. We got some really nice deer blinds. They're like, you know, little motels. So that is always an option as well. Now to kick this video off, let's get in the meat wagon. Let's go sit in a blind and see what's coming in at the pond. is loaded with ducks. We do have the shotgun. We're going to be doing a little bit of that while we're here. All right, just getting in here. And there are waspies. Wasp nests just up in the corners of this thing. This is where I sat last year when I was trying to get after the pond deer. This feeder was like totally empty a month and a half ago. Came out here, filled it, and no one's looked at it since. There's not a camera on it. So we have no idea what's coming to it. I don't have my deer rifle with me, but turn dauber. Get out of here. I should have brought my farm and gun. So it's got the uh, the little video scope on it. And I've got the, the night vision. So if anything interesting comes out, like a coyote or a bobcat or maybe a big raccoon or something like that, we'll be ready. Right now, we've got ourselves a nice young calf. Just checking things out. Hey there, bud. Hey there, buddy. You can go on now. It's time for you to go. Buck, 
His antlers aren't huge, but he's a big bodied mature deer. He's got a real broad neck and face. It's just so thick back there, it's hard to see. It's 514, the sun's starting to go down. something coming in. It might be a hog. It's a big boar. The big boar going in there. Dead coming. Oh god, he's gonna scare that buck off. Once again. These hogs. These hogs out here are atrocious. This is a big Well, did not end up shooting that pig, y'all. Ran off, I was gonna see how close I could get to it. I got mm, 40 yards or so away. The rest of the guys just got here, they're sighting in their thermals right now. Unbelievable how many hogs are out here and just how often they run off these deer. So, plan for tomorrow. I'm gonna go sit at my, my bow blind. There's a deer there that I really like. There's another old deer uh, that is a seven point. That is just a old body. I think he's just a really cool buck. He doesn't have huge antlers or anything. I just think he's really cool. One of the biggest body bucks I've ever seen out here. So we might get to see him. And hopefully the hogs don't ruin our hunt. There we go. Now they're on. It's really cold right now. So I'm going to crawl into the truck over here, crawl in my sleep sack, and head to bed, y'all. It's gonna be an early morning, full moon all night. So hopefully big bucks come in, please. But if not, it's still a great time being out in the woods, y'all. See ya in the AM. Thank you. 
just sick and tired of them running off the box here. It's ridiculous. There's a doe that's trying to come in, but she's not with all the pigs. I'm gonna give it about 10 more minutes. If these pigs don't leave, it's just, it's gonna be time to fire. I should've just blasted the big curve that was right in front of me, but uh, just hate screwing up the deer hunting for the morning. But it looks like it's gonna be screwed up anyways. It's, it's all screwed up this morning. I had a deer literally like 10 yards from me on the left. She was trying to come to the corn. The pigs were scaring her off. Those pigs came right at me at 18 yards. So they're gone now. That pig's gonna die right over there. These pigs are just insane. seen jack crap since I shot that big and that doe blew and it was a full moon all last night so I'm sure the deer are gonna feed early and then maybe go to bedding areas but the rut should be kicking off like <clears throat> like any day so I think I'm gonna get out of here I'm gonna try to look for that pig for a little bit see if we got any blood and then uh, it's it's war time y'all this is freaking war against these pigs, it's insane. I needed, I literally needed a grenade this morning. <laughs> they were swarming right up in front of the blind. There was like 14 of them. I just can't get a hunt in over here without the pigs destroying. So uh, there's actually a guy here at camp that's, um, he's kind of new to bow hunting and he said he wanted to shoot a pig with his bow. I, I think I'm gonna send him right over here and I'm gonna go set up another stand. I'm gonna go rattle, I'm gonna do something else. Because uh, even though some of the bucks that I like that are coming here, uh, there's just no way. Like, the deer literally do not mess with these pigs. I'm yet to see a buck chase a pig off. So, I'm going to get out of here. We're going to go see if we can find this pig. And then uh, we're going to head back, get a game plan. I might get with some of the guys and try to plan an assault against these, these little schnooters. Because it's out of control. <laughs> already see my arrow complete pass through Let's see what this arrow looks like ooh that looks like a looks like I shot him back no blood he was squealing pretty bad so we'll see we'll see what we got out of here but I think I went in and I probably touched lung and then came out. Came out in the gut area. It's a different, uh, it's a little different target on a pig than a deer. This is pretty sketchy right here, y'all. Definitely do not want to be charged by a wounded pig this morning. So I think I'm going to let this one go. I guess I shot an air back. Looks like I just straight gutted him. 
coming off. I'll just plink them right in the shoulder next time. But actually, next time I'm not even shooting an arrow. I gotta start taking out more than one at a time. I am off to set up a tree stand. I had to cut this video off y'all because it continues into a magnificent hunt, the best buck hunt of my life. It was way too long to include everything in one video. It is a roller coaster. Uh, I debated even putting, putting it together and showing you, but it is going to be the next video. It is, I didn't even know what to do with myself. I started tearing up out there. So next one gonna be a doozy. And the war continues between the hogs and the whitetails out here on the lease. We're doing what we can, but it's time to get serious. The rut is on and man, these hogs, they are not helping. Thank you guys as always for tuning in. I will see you on the next video. Godspeed and God bless you in the great outdoors.